I've been volunteering at this centre probably for more or less three years, I would say. Okay. And what's going on here today? Today is called Sorting Day, and it's basically when people bring clothes from various sources. Some of the volunteers from different organisations that donate clothes, and they generally just put them all in a sack and send them to us. We bring them to this centre, and then we sort them by size, by um, gender. Some we we have toys that are given to us for kids. So it's basically a sorting process, and we do this generally the Tuesday before the Sunday of the month that we have the drop-in centre. And what happens on the Sunday of the drop-in centre? What, what's provided and what goes on? Well, the drop-in centre basically uh, is very, very, very much in demand. And so what we do is we, we, um, we allow people to come into the main drop-in centre um, if, if, the, if their surnames begin with a certain letter and we give them basically half uh, the alphabet is allowed in one Sunday and the other half of the alphabet is allowed in the next Sunday. So every other Sunday people can come to the drop-in centre say six times a year and at the drop-in centre they are provided initially with um, food which they can eat on the premises and they can also take food away. We do food parcels for them to take away. They're given a certain amount of money for transport. They're given an Oyster card. They are also um, seen by a group of volunteer lawyers, volunteer doctors, volunteer psychologists who basically uh, sit in some sort of a, like a surgery so that people who have those issues can get some sort of very independent advice because many of these asylum seekers are really in limbo and they go to different organ uh, governmental organizations and don't get too much satisfaction and they're left going around and around in circles so what we try to do is we try to give them the opportunity and the hope to be able to move their process forward because all of these asylum seekers that we see generally are, have no status yet. And how, you've, been, you've been volunteering for how long? For about three years. Okay. And do you do it with friends or family? Or? Well, my wife and I, uh, I have a sister that works there. Um, I'm hoping that, to, well, my children don't live in this country, so or they don't live in this city. One of them lives in Bath, the other lives in Los Angeles. But uh, uh, my nephews have been involved, so yes. but And, and it's generally... The, the whole community pitches in, so to speak, and it's emanating from this synagogue, but lots of people come from all over London to, to volunteer, non-Jews as well as Jews.